Hello, this is Heather Hoffman, and I'm here with another card using the October 2020 Kit of the Month. This card uses some Distress Ink, um, kind of layered watercoloring with a little bit of colored pencil to add some detail. I wanted to use that cute little wagon full of trees from this kit, and then I also grabbed a sentiment. I ended up changing my mind on the sentiment, so kind of ignore that because that ended up changing before we were finished. At first, I was going to make this card vertical, and as I started to lay the image on there, I just kind of looked and went, no, I think I, think I want to do this as a horizontal card. It just kind of felt like a better fit. So I'm going to start by, I'm using my stamping platform for perfect alignment here. So this is my uh, mini Misty, and I'm starting off with some Distress Ink in Mode Lawn. The small cubes work best for this. You could also use a water-based, um, like a watercolor marker or um, anything else like that. Any watercolor friendly ink basically will work for this. And I started off by just kind of only inking up the top part there with the trees in that Mode Lawn, and then I inked up the wagon with Vintage Photo, which is a great brown. And you notice there's a little overlap in the middle, but I'm not too worried about that. And then I'm just kind of wetting the image um, to let all those lines blur, and then adding a little extra water around the outer edges for some of that ink to flow out to kind of give me a little bit of a halo effect. All right, then I'm going in and kind of filling in the wagon, kind of a similar idea um, as how I did the trees, but a little more outlined except for like where the handle of the wagon was. I was kind of kind of loosely um, pulled that one out a little bit, but everything else I kept pretty close. Then I wanted to add a quick ground under this image, so I grabbed pumice stone distress ink, and that I just smooshed onto an ink, uh, just a clear stamp block, and then used a wet brush to pick up some of that ink and just kind of add a soft ground underneath. All right, so now you're left with a really soft image. Uh, generally, I would have just set this aside to dry for the purpose of the video. I used my heat gun on my low heat setting just to speed up the drying process so I could move on with the next step and not have to wait um, for that to fully dry before I stamped over the top to get a little more detail back on that image. All right, this dried pretty quickly, so it was nice and easy. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully place that in the exact same position back in my misty, and I've left my stamp um, attached to the lid, but I'm gonna clean that off there real quick just so I don't have any smudging of different inks. This time I'm gonna be a little more careful just to kind of get um, the tree image along the top. I'm still kind of hitting those little branches that go down, but a little more focused on those that top area. And I stamped that twice to make sure I got it on there nice and crisp and clean right over the top of our watercolored effect ones. And then this is where I'm being a little more careful with the brown, um, just kind of for the wagon, getting all along there, but trying not to hit those branches and have as much of an overlap this time around. All right, now I'm gonna add a little more um, shading to that ground underneath. Now that that's dried a little bit too, just kind of a soft little, a little more of a shadow effect on the ground. So you can kind of see the look there that that's gonna give. And then while that dries a little bit here, I'm gonna stamp the secondary sentiment that I chose after my first plan there. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. Any black ink will work. And those are those colors of Distress Inks again that I use, just the three colors. All right, then I pulled out my colored pencils and uh, these are Polychromos. Um, you can pretty much use any colored pencil at this point. If you wanted to blend it more, you could use a watercolor pencil. I made sure all of this dried first, and I'm just using it to add back in, again, a little more of the detail and the shading, but kind of smooth out the lines a little bit on there as well. Um, I grabbed a green one there too, and then I decided to um, add a little bit of brown to where the trunks of those trees would be as well. This is such a nice solid image. It kind of works really well for this technique that kind of gives a loose watercolor, but also a little bit of a, a layered detail effect over the top. Um, you could easily stamp this and just kind of color around the image as well, but I really liked this sort of realistic effect you got by the layering, the water, the watercolors, and everything else. All right, now I just went ahead and trimmed all of this down. I've trimmed, you can see, a little more. I kind of went around and just kept trimming down trying to keep it equal on top and bottom. Um, so I kept my size reference with an A2 card and I needed a little tiny bit more off of that side. And then I've got um, some craft, uh, just Nina Desert Storm craft card stock that I'm gonna mat that image with before I put it on a white card base. It just needed something to kind of help it pop from the background. So I'm gonna adhere that right onto that 
craft piece. And then I have um, kind of a trick I learned recently for a great way to add dimension to cards. This is um, five inch wide score tape on kids fun foam, um, just big foam sheets that I trimmed down. So you can see that one was a little bigger than I needed. So I carefully just trimmed a little bit off. And that gives me a really great solid um, panel there to mount foam mount that background on. All right, now I'm gonna do just a quick twist around bow there. Um, it's a little hard to see there, but basically I just looped it around my fingers to make um, about three or four times to make a loop. And then I grabbed some twine to wrap around and just simply tie around to pinch that center part together. And I did it once and I'm gonna tie it into a knot again. Then I'm gonna leave those loose ends and trim them off um, together with the loose ends that were already coming out. And I just kinda, I tend to just slowly snip off little bits at a time and keep taking a little more cause I don't wanna take off too much and then not be happy with how much I've trimmed off and have it be too late. So I just kinda fiddled with those ends trimmed them off until I was happy with the length and kind of how it fit on there. And I'm gonna attach that right at the base of those trees and the top of the wagon, just as a fun little dimensional embellishment. And that finishes this card off. Nice and simple. Thanks so much for coming by today. I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.